we all know the importance of keeping your crypto of the exchange. As the saying goes, not your keys, not your crypto. So you end up buying a ledger hardware device such as the Nano or the Stacks, some great options out there, and you feel in control, and rightfully so. But the question is, what happens if your ledger breaks down? Or if you lose it? Or if the company that you bought your hardware wallet from, and there are a lot of different companies out there, Ledger is just one of them, such as Trezor and many others, if this company was to go bust, which companies do, right? Over time, some of them will survive, some of them will go bankrupt. What happens to your cryptocurrency? Do you lose all your crypto? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk exactly about this as I'm going to show you exactly what happens when your hardware wallet is gone and how to restore your crypto wallet on a brand new device. I'll actually show you how easy it is. So in my case, I'm going to be restoring my crypto wallet from my current Ledger Flex that I recently got and really like two Ledger's flagship model when it comes to crypto hardware wallets and that's the Ledger Stacks. I mean, look at this razor thin, absolutely love it. So, so nice. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to set it up. But this also applies to any Ledger device. Maybe you want to upgrade from the Nano to the Flex or Stacks. This would be the same process. Or if you were to come from yet another company of hardware wallet providers, you could equally do the same process. Very simple. I think it's very, very important important to know how that is being done and that's why I want to talk about this in this video and ultimately it all comes down to one thing and that's your seed phrase so let's clarify one thing up front your crypto is not stored on the ledger contrary to what many think your crypto actually lives on the blockchain let's say the cloud somewhere right what the ledger does is protect your private keys which are needed to sign transactions and those private keys comes from something even more important your 24 word recovery phrase which is also called the seed phrase. So think about the seed phrase as your master password, so to say. If you have that, you can access your wallet on any compatible device. It's like logging onto your Facebook or Google account. If you have the right password, well, you can do that from any new phone or any new laptop for that matter, right? The same is true with your hardware wallet. On the flip side though, it also means no seed, no access. So protecting that 24 word phrase is absolutely everything. So let's say my ledger flex, that device over here was damaged or lost. Well, in this case, I obviously would have to buy a new hardware wallet. In my case, I got as a backup the ledger stacks, which I can really recommend. Now, it might be overkill for most because it is really quite expensive, is their flagship model. But honestly, if you have the money and you have quite a bit of crypto, it might be really worth it. First of all, the device, it's super, super nice, so sleek, so beautiful. And I even got myself this little magnetic wallet where I can basically just magnetically attach it to it. And it even protects the screen because it is a bit delicate as it is so thin and light. It also charges wirelessly. And I really like the bigger screen because it's just much easier to type on it than on the Ledger Flex. And definitely a huge upgrade from the Nano. I was using the Nano for the longest of time. I mean, it's a good entry device. Obviously, the price is really reasonable to get started. And if you do have a smaller crypto, crypto portfolio, it might be enough. It is just a bit clunky to input everything through these two buttons over here. But other than that, it does the job. But I think upgrading to the Flex is definitely my recommendation for most. I think it's a really solid choice. It does pretty much exactly the same as the Stacks. The Stacks, the Stacks just feels more premium, has the wireless charging. Of course, you can see over here on the side, you can give it a name so you can easily identify what it is. So yeah, it just feels more premium. So if you want it, it might be worth it. But again, for most people, you know, you might be just fine with the Flex. But personally, I'll be switching to the Stacks. So I'm going to show you how simple it is to basically restore my wallet from here into the Ledger Stacks. All right, so once you've got your Ledger device, make sure you've got a genuine one. Use my link down in the description below to order from the official Ledger store and choose any device of your liking. I recently made a video showing you how to set up a Ledger Flex. You can watch this afterwards. But again, the principle and process is pretty much the same for any of the Ledger devices. All right, but first off, let's power up the device. There's only really one button that you can press over here and it will turn it on. Ledger Stacks, the most trusted place for your digital assets. Tap to continue. Ledger Stacks generates and stores your private keys. Yep, that's great. All right, obviously it just explains you what it does, how it works and so on. And from here, choose whether you want to set it up as a Ledger Live on the mobile or Ledger Live on the desktop. So it's really up to you. You can also set it up without Ledger Live, but definitely I would recommend you to use the Ledger Live app on either device. In this case, I'm going to show you how to do it on the mobile phone because the cool thing is it works through Bluetooth and NFC so you can use it on the go while the Nano that I had in the past always had to be connected through cable, which was a bit cumbersome, I must say. Right, but let's go ahead and click on Ledger Live Mobile. Click on that. You'll get a QR code that you want to scan to open up the Ledger Live app. So I'm going to go ahead, scan that, open it up, and you will see Ledger Live would like to open another application. So in case you don't have the Ledger Live app, it will take you to the respective app store to download. But in my case, I already have it on my phone. So click on allow and boom, it will start looking for another device. And you can see already it has been identified Ledger Stacks over here. So yeah, go ahead, click on connect. It will ask Bluetooth pairing request. Yes, I want to go ahead and pair it. Yes, it matches. It will pair just a second. 
and boom, it will be paired up. Then the cool thing is it will go through a genuine check to make sure it's a real genuine ledger device. So really make sure it is a correct one because there have been a lot of stories where people ordered from some secondhand platforms, got a fake, a tampered with device, and then obviously lost all the crypto to those scam artists. So be very mindful and make sure your ledger device will ask you for that check. So yeah, go ahead, check that it's really genuine. Tap on allow. Yep, it will take a second, obviously. It will make sure it is genuine indeed. And I will say there is an update available. Go ahead, update now. Yes, I want to do that. Start OS update. And it might take a couple of seconds, up to one, two minutes. All right. And as you can see, now Legistex OS has been updated. So go ahead, click on finish over here. And boom, everything is completed. Continue to set up. Then obviously you want to go ahead and name your Legistex. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and set a name. And then very important, you want to choose the pin to protect the ledger, right? Otherwise, anyone who finds it could just power it up and then confirm any of the transaction and send the crypto wherever right so you want to have a long pin code in this case ideally eight digits to protect the access to the device and also very cool if you enter it more than three times wrong basically it will reset the device and you'll only regain access to it with your seed phrase so be very mindful that you enter the correct one which is also a good security feature in case somebody finds it and tries to access it without knowing the right pin code it automatically will lock it down all right then we have to choose how we want to set up the stacks so click on continue and then obviously you can set it up as a new ledger device. And again, I made a whole video about this, which I'll link down in the description below, which you can check out afterwards. I made it for the ledger flex, but the same is true for ledger stack. So you can just watch that and do the same process. But in this case, I want to restore because, right, I'm assuming that I lost my ledger flex or any other device for that matter. And that's why I want to restore it with my seed phrase. So let's click on restore over here. And then you have two options. If you subscribe to the ledger recovery subscription, you can restore it through here. But personally, I'm not subscribed to that and I'm not paying to do that. I want to restore it with the secret recovery phrase, which is said at the beginning of the video is obviously the most important. These are the words that you write down on your recovery sheet. And that's how we're going to restore our crypto, basically the access to it from one device to another. So let's click on that. And then of course, you also have to choose how long is your recovery word because not all the devices support 24 words. Some of them only give you 12, some of them 18, but hopefully in most cases, you have the option of 24 words. And I always recommend you more words is probably safer. It's already safe 12, but why not go for 24 words? That way you really have the highest level of safety and security of your crypto. So in my case, it is actually 24 words. So I'm gonna click on that. And from here, what you wanna do is take out your recovery sheet and basically all those words that you wrote on here, obviously mine is empty right now. I'm not going to show you my real words, but you just go on there and you basically write down word for word in the right order, very importantly, the correct words, and that will give you access to that crypto wallet. So I'm going to go ahead doing that without showing you and I'll be right back with you. All right, that took a second, but as you can see now, security recovery phrase has been confirmed. So that's great. Click on continue. Your secret recovery phrase is for your eyes only. And here we are. That's it. Now, basically, that ledger hardware wallet controls my cryptocurrency that I already had previously on my ledger flex. Then it will ask me to basically continue on the phone over here. And as it shows, install the same apps on the ledger stacks. So yes, restore. Now it will take a second and basically mimic the same apps that I previously had on my flex over here. And that was very quick. And you can see now it's ready. No, I don't want to be using ledger recovery exit out of it shows you a couple of things that you can be doing over here but i don't want to do this so i'll do this later and then what you want to do is go over here at the bottom right my ledger click on the new one that you just named ks stacks in my case click on continue it will load and then we'll ask you to allow secure connections right so now if i go back into the bitcoin wallet so technically i could actually just rename the ledger flex one rename it to ledger stacks because now the stacks controls the flex right so i go in here just rename it now it's called ledger stacks then i go into here and just to show you that it actually works so if i go ahead and click on send go ahead put an address where you send the crypto to in my case i just took my nexo exchange put the wallet address there then i say how much i want to send 0 0.01 so that's 83 dollars around click on continue then you can choose slow medium or fast let's say on fast obviously it will be slightly more expensive but then obviously you see the wallet address what it is click on continue and then i can see what device to approve it with and will automatically open previously it was my ledger flex but in this case now obviously that my stacks controls it it will open up the stacks in this case it will take a second and then you can review if it's indeed the correct transaction so click on swipe to continue and uh, just press on that over here and then you will see the amount and the correct wallet address. So double check that with the sending address where you send it to on any exchange or any other wallet that you send it to. And once you're fine with this, obviously go ahead and then you hold the button to approve the transaction and we'll send the cryptocurrency. Now, in my case, I don't want to be sending it to the exchange because I want to keep everything on my hardware wallet, but that would be how you do it. And that's it. My wallet is now back. All my coins, tokens and balances reappear 
just like before. Why? Because now the Ledger Stacks is holding the same private keys as previously my Flex did. It's the same wallet. Now here's something cool you might not have known before. So I still have my Ledger Flex and I never wiped it. It still works because it has the same seed phrase inside. So basically now both devices have the same access to the same crypto wallet. Now that's both powerful and risky. Now if you want to keep both, that's great. Maybe I store one in the safe or use it as a backup. But if you wanted to switch exclusively, in my case to the stacks, I need to factory reset the Ledger Flex first. That removes the seed phrase completely from the old device, leaving only the stacks, my new device, with access. Obviously, if you lost your hardware wallet in the first place, that's not necessary. But if you have both of them still intact and only want one, then that's actually very simple to do. You just go into the setting and click on reset. It will show you reset ledger, confirm it, and it will wipe the entire device and it won't have access anymore to your crypto wallet. So if that's what you want to do, you can easily do that. But the question is, what if you don't have your seed phrase anymore? Well, let me be crystal clear. If you don't have your seed phrase, no one can help you because that's exactly a point of self-custody. You are in full control, but with that comes also responsibility. That's why I say don't just write down your seed phrase on a piece of paper and toss it in a drawer. And that's why I recommend using something like a crypto tag, which is a metal backup designed to survive fire, water, time, and well, I guess stupidity. <laughs> this is the one that I recommend and I'll leave a link down in the description below to check it out. And soon I'll make a whole video about it, how to actually set it up and use it because I think it's really powerful because we heard a lot of cases where houses, apartments burn down and people lose access to their cryptocurrency. So you may ask yourself, why should I even bother with all of this? Well, if you don't have any cryptocurrency or any significant amount, it doesn't matter. But if you're serious about crypto, especially for the long term, eventually you might face one of those scenarios. Your device might get damaged, you travel and you forget it. You want to upgrade to a new and better one. These things are real and happen all the time. In my case, I haven't lost any of them, but I did upgrade over time to newer devices. So when that day comes, this process really saves you time and your money. I also want to answer a couple of questions that people have around this topic. So the first one you might be asking is, can I use the same seed phrase with another brand? And the answer is yes, absolutely. Most wallets these days follow the BIP39 standard, which means you have 24 words that can be imported in another hardware wallet, like I just shown you. And that includes brands like Trezor, Keystone, SafePal, Bitbox, and many others. The flow and process is pretty much exactly the same as I just showed you. You choose restore and a 24 word seed phrase and then the wallet is recreated. Another question, can someone hack my wallet if they find my device? No, actually without a pin or the seed phrase, they cannot. Next question, can I use two ledgers at the same time? Yes, as I just shown you before, you can indeed if you wanted to, if they do have the same seed phrase, in case you created a second hardware wallet, if you restored it with the same seed phrase as the first one, you could even have a third hardware wallet with the same seed phrase if you wanted to, but probably that wouldn't be the smartest way to go about it. Another question is, is it safe to reuse the same seed on another device? Yes, if you trust the device, then absolutely it's safe to do so. Just make sure if you don't want to have the other device still being able to access your cryptocurrency, then make sure you wipe it clean and reset it so you only have one device accessing your cryptocurrency. So finally, should you be afraid of losing your ledger? Well, only if you don't have your seed phrase at hand. That's the most important part. With it, you have the power to recover your entire wallet in minutes. Without it, your crypto is gone forever. Next up, check out this video over here. Where I'm actually going to give you a full deep dive into how to set up a Ledger Flex device, which is pretty much the same setup as you would do for Ledger Stacks. So whichever you go with, you will have the full tutorial on how to set it up and start taking self-custody of your cryptocurrency. As always, thanks for watching. Stay healthy, get wealthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.